And now it's time for a portion of the program we're really proud of called The Corner Table. It's our theater review segment. Now it features legendary critic John Simon and newcomer Justin Brown. Simon, as you probably know, he wrote for New York Magazine for more than 35 years. He's also been featured in The Times, The Washington Post, among many others. Justin, an actor and director who's just getting started in the critic game. Well, tonight they look at Jitney by two-time Pulitzer Prize winner August Wilson. This, the only one of Wilson's American Century Cycle that has not been performed on Broadway, that is, until now. Hey, John. Hi. We're talking about Jitney today by August Wilson. I found this production to be incredible. It's directed by Ruben Santiago Hudson, who um, is a Tony Award winner and nominee. He is known for directing August Wilson plays. So I went into this knowing that it'd be a very incredible, insightful experience. It's Wilson's only Century Cycle play that hadn't been on Broadway until today. How do you feel about this 10-day play that he wrote? Well, I think it's a wonderful play. I liked it very much when it was first done off-Broadway. Uh -huh. I gave it a very good review, at the end of which I said, why isn't this on Broadway? This is a natural play for Broadway. Mm -hmm. But the idiots didn't <laughs> do it. Uh, of course, it may be that it needed some more rewriting, mm. because there had been a lot of rewriting all along. Maybe that it needed some more, although I didn't think so. Mm. I thought it was ready and raring to go. I agree with you that it is, in fact, a Broadway play. It is a play that deserves its place on the Great White Way. It's entertaining, it's insightful, but the third thing that it is, it's very educational. I think that its audience is geared towards a younger audience with a specific message. I don't think it'll last on Broadway. It won't get an extension because it is a show that is so inherently created to preach a message towards especially particularly young African-American men. Because if you think about Kara Peterson, who plays Rena, yeah. the only woman in the play, yeah. um, she, I thought, was astounding, even though she was in it once in the first act and in it once in the second act. And it's the incredible skill of Wilson to write amazing women. My other question to you is, do you feel like this will play well in congruence to the fact that Fences is a movie now that is garnering so much attention? Well, here's the thing. It's gotten to be so bad that unless you had a big f movie or television uh -huh. star in your play, you are already behind the eight ball. And of course, Jitney does have a great actor, John Douglas Thompson. Yes, absolutely. He is, he is the only member, they're all good, but he is memorable. Oh, well, he also is incredible. He's played Othello. He's well, that's played it, Lear. you know. He is a classic actor of the grand school. He can do anything. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised how well he could do someone less grand, mm -hmm. which he nevertheless does. Uh, and, uh, and he's also very good looking, which doesn't hurt. So, but he's not a big name. Mm. The one thing he isn't is a name, which True. is a damned unjust situation. Mm -hmm. but that's the kind of world we live in. And I think that the name that pulls people to this, other than Wilson being tied to the Fences film, is Holland, who is in Moonlight currently um, playing in the box office. So I think that when people look at this play that are not theater people, like us, who want to go, oh, I want to go see this August Wilson play. I'm curious. I like this movie. Oh, look, Andre Holland is in this. Amazing. What um, is Andre Holland so great for? I, you know, I think that what he brought to the production was a good balance. I don't think that there was anything particularly um, incredible about him in this. But I do think that there is there is this fire, this, this young blood that is inherent in this character that is also innate in him, especially with the way that he played this part. Uh, but the company itself, I think, is a solid company of actors. Costume design was by Tony Leslie, who I think did an incredible job. I He's good, basically. I completely disagree with the, necess the necessity to get him out of everyday clothing because I think that what Santiago Hudson and Gallo did as well, he's the stage designer, there's an incredible realness to it. There's a life outside of this cab driving station, this jitney station. And you knew it from the minute that the lights began to fade and people started coming in, the way that the cars are set in the background to look like the hills in Pittsburgh. I really thought this was an incredible production and I would absolutely encourage people to go see it just to make sure that it doesn't close early 
keep it going, give these people who are giving an incredible performance the attention and the time that they deserve. Do you tell people to go see this? Well, if I get a chance to, I will. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Gallo did the sets for the off-Broadway production, mm -hmm. too. And this set <coughs> is much better yet mm. uh, than the original one. The costumes were good. I mean, everything, the lighting was fine. Um, everything is very good about this. And let's face it, uh, Santiago Hudson has done a good job yeah. directing he's the damn gifted. thing. You'd think that he's just an actor, but he's not. He's a director, too, mm -hmm. by golly. <laughs> um, well, everyone, we say, go see Jitney. Well, yes, do that, but can we keep it going? That's the question. Good question. And coming up next, our Hudson Valley headlines, so please stay with us.